My name is Alan Miller. I'm the engineering manager here at Big Kaiser Precision Tooling. I'm here in our Hoffman Estates technical showroom uh, here in Hoffman Estates near Chicago, Illinois. And today we're going to talk about Big Plus spindle systems and how they function. So today we're going to go over the Big Plus interface, including how the dual contact functions, who some of our partners are, and how to identify the spindles in the field. And we're going to talk about the advantages that the Big Plus spindle system, system brings, including the added rigidity, uh, the repeatability, and the high speed stability. And then finally, we'll touch on Big Plus tool holders and how they're gauged and marked to make sure you're getting the most licensed and up-to-date product available. So Big Plus was a fairly simple concept. Back in 1992, Big Dai Shuoseki, our parent company in Japan, had an idea to improve the existing steep taper spindles. So currently, uh, on a steep taper machine, there's a theoretical plane called gauge line. Where on a CAT 40 tool, it's where the cone of that spindle becomes exactly an inch and three quarter. Now, as part of the, the standard, the position of that face is very loosely tolerant, so plus or minus about eight thou. So what happens is when you put a standard CAT 40 tool holder into a standard CAT 40 spindle, you wind up with just about an eighth inch gap between those two faces. What Big suggested is that if we could get the machine tool builders to add a little bit of material to the spindle face, we can utilize that. So they went and they, they convinced some machine tool builders to just add material to the face, not make any changes to how their spindles were produced or, or any of the bearings or any of the clamping systems. They were just looking at that adding a little material. And in the case of 40 taper, that's about one millimeter, about 39 thou. Big then produced gauges so that these builders could use a simple gauge to confirm the position of that face relative to the gauge line. And what happens is they made it in such a way that only some of the material goes on the spindle and the rest goes on the tool holder. So if you have a standard CAT 40 tool and you put it into a big plus CAT 40 spindle, the only change that you'll see is that gap becomes smaller in this case down to 85 thou. But what you do get is if you put a big plus tool holder into a big plus spindle, it'll first make taper contact only. There'll be a small gap between those two faces. It was designed in such a way that as the retention system's activated on the machine, the spindle taper will expand, allowing that tool to draw into the spindle until it makes face contact stopping that draw. So with that elastic expansion of the taper, we're able to get full taper contact and face contact simultaneously. Now in order to do this, it's really just three gauges. So the most important is actually the, the taper draw arbor. This is a simple gauge that's used just to determine how deep a tool holder taper will draw into a spindle when the retention system is activated that amount of movement then defines what the tolerance is for the position of that face. The machine tool builders then use a reference and a ring gauge and the face measuring equipment to make sure that that spindle is in the right place within the right tolerance. Now this, is, this was such an easy thing to do that it became widely adopted. There's currently 180 plus spindle builders in the world that have the license and have these spindle gauge sets. So there are a lot of machines now that are coming with Big Plus as a standard, whether, whether you know it or not. And sometimes the hardest thing to do is to identify where these spindles are in your shop. So the easiest way to do that is to use some of that information of the gap between gauge line and the flange of a tool holder. If you've got a standard Cat 40 spindle and you put a standard Cat 40 tool holder into it, you'll wind up with that eighth inch gap. Now, if you do have a big plus spindle and you put a standard cat 40 tool holder into it, you can measure that gap and see that it's significantly smaller than an eighth inch, it should be around 85 thou. And that will give you an indication that yes, this, this spindle had the face prepared for big plus. And then as the final test, when you have a big plus tool holder and a big plus spindle, 
as that, that tool gets drawn into the, the machine spindle, it'll come up and make face contact. Which brings us to the advantages of Big Plus. Um, the first and most obvious is generally the rigidity gains. Instead of just supporting this tool from the gauge diameter of the taper, it's now supported all the way out to the edge of the flange, which just decreases the amount of deflection that a tool holder will experience when loaded. So now I'm going to introduce Nick Ju, our research and development engineer, who's going to show you a quick demo of this concept. Hello, my name is Nick Ju, research and development engineer here at Big Kaiser. I'll be showing you a brief machining demonstration on a comparison between a Big Plus tool holder and non-Big Plus tool holder when it comes to rigidity. On an Akuma Genos M560 vertical machining center, we'll be using two of our high power milling chuck tool holders, both with a 12 millimeter four flute flat end mill cutter installed to mill three 12 millimeter slots on a block of 4140 steel. The two HMC holders have identical clamping diameters and gauge lengths. The only difference is that the first one on the left is a standard Cat 40 non-Big Plus shank, whereas the second holder has a Big Plus Cat 40 shank. The slot on the left, designated slot 1, will be milled in one pass with the non-Big Plus Cat 40 high power milling chuck at 4 millimeters axial cutting depth and full slot radial engagement. The middle slot, or slot 2, will be milled with identical cutting depths as well as identical feeds and speeds, but with the Big Plus version of our high power milling chuck. The final slot, slot 3, will be machined with the same Big Plus HMC holder and end mill, but we will increase the axial cutting depth by 50%, as well as the feed rate by 50%, to show the increased performance capabilities with Big Plus. So let's start machining. First, the standard Cat 40 non-Big Plus high power milling chuck tool holder is loaded into the spindle to mill slot one. Chatter is immediately audible during this cut. Next, the Big Plus HMC holder is loaded into the spindle to mill the second slot. The same machining parameters as the first slot are used. No audible chatter noise is generated during this cut. Finally, we'll increase the depth of cut and feed rate both by 50%. Still no audible chatter is heard while cutting this third slot. Let's take a closer look at the finishes on each slot. On slot 1, where the standard non-Big Plus tool holder was used, there is significant chatter markings on the machined surfaces. Using a surface roughness tester to measure the wall surface of this slot, an RA value of about 5 microns was obtained. The material removal rate, or MMR, which denotes the volume of material removed per unit of time, is set as the reference 100% for this demonstration. On slot 2, where the Big Plus HMC holder was used, the surface finish does not show any major chatter marks. Measuring the wall surface with the roughness tester, a significantly improved RA value of less than 1 micron was achieved. The MMR is the same 100% for this slot, since the fees and speeds were unchanged from slot 1. For the third slot, which used the same Big Plus holder, but with 50% greater depth of cut and 50% faster feed rate, the finish is still superior to slot 1. An RA of about 1 micron was measured on the wall surface of this slot. Because of the Big Plus tool holder's greater rigidity, the MMR for this slot was able to be increased 
to 225% compared to the 100% of slot 1 and slot 2, which gives a great advantage to machining efficiencies and cycle time reductions. So that's a simple example of how Big Plus can greatly improve your material removal rates while still retaining superior finishes in milling, leading to greater performance and efficiency. I hope this was helpful. So as you can see, the Big Plus rigidity can not only increase your metal removal rates, but it can also improve your part geometry and surface finishes with less rework required after the roughing applications. The second advantage of Big Plus that's often overlooked is the ATC repeatability. In this case, we've taken a test bar, both a Big Plus and a standard taper, and done 50 automatic tool changes with each one, measuring the runout of each time. In this case, we're using non-contact magnetic displacement meters to to measure the runout to a submicron level. And as you can see, over time, with just the taper and taper fit of a standard tool holder, there's hiccups along the way where the runout increases on just a specific tool change cycle. Where Big Plus, because that face makes contact with the spindle, is always forced back to the same location every time. So this will not only improve your geometric locations, but also can have a strong influence on single point boring applications. Or if you have a single point tool that's not repeating to exactly the same location after every tool change, chasing diameter adjustments can become more difficult. The last feature of Big Plus is the high speed tool length stability that it offers. This was actually the original design concept of Big Plus was as steep taper spindles started increasing dramatically, they found that the tool holder itself will get drawn deeper into this machine tool spindle as the speeds increase. This is simply because there's still retention force on that pole stud and the, the forces at speed are drawing that spindle open allowing the tool to pull into the machine. The big plus face acts as a stopper. So even as that, that spindle physically increases in size, it's got a physical hard stop to keep that tool from pulling deeper into the spindle. So especially at the higher spindle speeds on smaller machines, this becomes more critical for any finishing applications. As far as nomenclature and support goes, uh, Big Plus is available on every steep taper standard, including the JIS BT standard out of Japan, uh, the US ASME standard for CAT, and the European DIN for what they call the SK taper sizes. Now with, along with the spindles, there's also a set of tool holder tapers that are available. Um, these are controlled by Big Dai Shoasiki and only offered to licensees. And it's really a master taper gauge and an air gauge to check both the taper and the face location. But more importantly, any licensee that has access to these gauges has to mark Big Plus spindle system and license Big Dias Shoasiki on the physical tool holder itself. So to ensure that you always have licensed gauged products, look for those markings on your tools. Thank you for your time today. We'll open the floor to any questions. So Big Plus is a dual contact system, as is HSK and, and CAFTO. They all work with two plane constraint of the tool holders themselves, but they work in opposite ways. With Big Plus and Steep Taper, the spindle is elastically deformed under the retention system, where in HSK, the tool holder taper itself is the one that's getting deformed when it's being clamped in the system. So beyond that, it becomes a balancing act with speed versus rigidity. With steep taper, more of the tool is in the spindle and the overall tool assemblies can be shorter. So getting very aggressive with rough, roughing applications is, tech, is typically better done with Big Plus over HSK. As you get into the extreme high speed world, 
uh, as speeds increase, the HSK taper opens up and makes better contact in the spindle and becomes a better option for high speed work. So there's, there's pluses and minuses to both systems and it has more to do with the type of applications you're looking to run. Now, the nice thing is that most of the machine tool builders recognize these advantages and limitations between them and will offer spindle options that, that match the capabilities of the machine. Thank you so much for joining us today and we hope to hear from you soon.